Hey guys, how's it going? It is Mike here, and I wanted to talk a little bit about the differences between Amazon PPC and AdWords. Uh, you know, I've been doing Amazon PPC and AdWords both for about seven years now. And what's really cool about doing Amazon PPC when you have experience in AdWords is you can kind of see into the future of Amazon PPC in the sense of you can kind of look at AdWords as one of the you know, the world's most successful, most mature self-serve advertising platform. Self-serve meaning you can go and run your own ads. You don't actually have to pick up the phone and call AdWords and say, can I please bid on this keyword? You can go take care of your own ads. So when you look at something like AdWords that has, you know, bidding differently based off different parts of the country, based off different countries, you bidding differently based off different times of day or different genders or different uh, household incomes and all of these different things, you can kind of look at Amazon PPC because slowly but surely they've been picking up things that AdWords has done over the years, whether it be the introduction of match types, broad, phrase, and exact, uh, calling them broad, phrase, and exact. Uh, at one point in time, Amazon PPC didn't have any match types, and now they do. So you have so many of these similarities where Amazon PPC is sort of picking up on what AdWords has done in its you know almost two decade history so what this infographic does is it compares some of these similarities and differences so in terms of ad function you know in terms of where the ads go clearly google is all about taking users off of google onto a website um, and then on amazon it's keeping people on Amazon. For the most part, there are some exceptions where Amazon ads take people off of Amazon. But for the most part, when it comes to selling on Amazon, your ads will always remain keep users on Amazon. So this brings up one of the biggest, most profound differences is Google doesn't know when a conversion happens on your website. Uh, sure, there's conversion tracking with Google AdWords, but it's user input, meaning I'm telling, I'm telling AdWords when a conversion actually happens. Google doesn't actually know if you know my conversion is just a chat box or if it's a lead input or if it's a sale or whatever I want. Uh, so they actually have no knowledge of when a true actual revenue conversion has taken place. Whereas on Amazon, they have great they have a great deal of knowledge of when an actual revenue based conversion has happened. So because of this, the ad rank at which Google and Amazon are incentivized to present an ad in first position, second position, third position changes. So on Google, the way that they, and on Amazon, the first thing that is worth knowing is that ad rank is not only a factor of cost per click, of your bid, meaning you could be bidding a dollar, I could be bidding 75 cents, and there are ways for me to appear above you, both on Google and on Amazon. That is because ad rank exists and ad rank is not simply a function of your bid. So even though it's an auction, it's a special type of auction where he who bids the most does not always end up in the most position, in the highest position. So what does this actually mean? Well, basically we get into this concept of ad quality and ad quality is really important because both Google and Amazon want users to click on ads and then wants to train people, want to incentivize people, want to make it a positive experience when you click on an ad. Now on Google, they measure that sort of positive user experience for clicking on ads primarily based off click-through rate. So basically, if Google know, Google makes money if you can convince a user to click on your ad as opposed to scrolling down to an organic listing. So they want to incentivize advertisers to create ads that give people a lot of in, reasons, you know, through ad copy to click on an ad. So Google basically has a concept called quality score and the biggest component of quality score is click through rate. So the way that Google ranks ads is actually your bid multiplied by your quality score and quality score's biggest component is click through rate. Now it also looks at some other things too, like landing page experience and keyword relevancy to your ad and all these different things. But in general, if you can create very, very clickable ads, Consistently, Google rewards you as an advertiser by giving you cheaper clicks in a better position than a competitor who is creating ads that people are not clicking on. So that's how the ad ranking platform works on Google. Now on Amazon, Amazon has a different set of incentives. Not only do they want people to click on ads, so they still have the sort of the click-through rate 
uh, incentive, but they also have a conversion rate and revenue per conversion incentive as well. Meaning if I'm an advertiser and you're an advertiser and we both are bidding a dollar and we both have the exact same click through rate. However, my conversion rate and my revenue per conversion is much better than yours. I'm going to appear above you plain and simple. So, you can take this to the extreme where, you know, you're bidding a dollar 25, I'm just bidding a dollar, but I have a better sort of quality, ad quality, meaning people are clicking on mine more often and they're converting and generating more revenue from my ads than your ads, I will appear above you even though you may be bidding more. And this concept is incredibly valuable. So, from an advertising perspective, a good Amazon or AdWords advertiser is not only optimizing their bids based off their you know, cost per conversion or their return on ad spend, but they're also trying to optimize the click-through rate uh, and, of course, the conversion rate and, of course, the revenue per conversion. Now, in Google, you should be optimizing those things. However, they don't play into your ad ranking, whereas on Amazon, a better conversion rate and better revenue per conversion will not only get you more profits, but it'll also get you in a higher position, which leads to more clicks, which more clicks leads to more sales, which equals more profit, and then that flywheel happens. Um, in terms of match types, fairly similar, broad, phrase, and exact. AdWords has, of course, modified broad. And in terms of bidding, there's three definite types of bidding available both on AdWords and Amazon. You know, simple manual bidding, you know, not relying on any algorithm or any bid rule. You are jumping in, you are looking at your results and you are updating your bids. Um, of course, you have the ultimate maximum control. However, it takes tons of time and immediately, you know, within a day, the data is outdated. Uh, anytime you're using a bidding software or anything, uh, or you're updating your bids manually just once a week, you're updating the bids based off that week's worth of data. And then as you get another day and another day worth of data, the bids are already a little bit out of date. Uh, so that's some of the struggle. And then the other struggle too is when you have an account with hundreds of keywords across multiple platforms, it can be incredibly difficult to optimize your bids. So if you figure, you know, on AdWords, it makes it really clean and neat. You know, all of your countries are inside one AdWords account, whereas on Amazon, if you're if you have ads running in Canada, United States, that's two completely separate ad campaigns, uh, ad accounts. So you have to log into your USA and do your USA bids, and you need to log into Canada and do your Canada bids. And what happens most of the time is people, you know, oh, Canada only makes up you know 10% of the spend that it does in the U.S. So I'm going to treat that with a lower priority. I'm not going to update my bids as much. It's not as important, and that could run. Then you can run into a really big issue. Um, there's an intermediate sort of assisted bidding. AdWords has something called enhanced CPC, where if it thinks um, that it can garner you more conversions based off a particular you know, conver user set conversion, then it will increase your bids ever so slightly. And Amazon has a bid plus, where it thinks if you can gain the click more likely, it will bid a little bit more aggressively for you. Uh, that's one of the biggest differences. Bid plus has nothing to do with conversions, has to do with we think we can get you more clicks. Uh, which is why I normally don't recommend it. And then enhanced CPC on AdWords can be valuable in certain situations where you know it, it will automatically give you a little boost if a term is performing well. And then of course you have advanced automated bidding, both on AdWords and Amazon. Uh, you know you can use a tool like Optimizer, DoubleClick, or Quizio for AdWords. And then on Amazon there's lots of automated bidding tools, uh, AdBadger being one of them. Uh, and the pros here are that it will scan through your account, and as you get new data, new information rolling in, as your conversion rate goes up, your bids will go up. As your conversion rates go down, your bid will go down. So it will always try to get your bids mathematically where they should be, and you know, really it's 2018, automation is coming, automation is just becoming more and more popular. There's really no reason not to use an advanced automated bidding. Uh, at one point in time, you know, these tools on AdWords would cost thousands of dollars to use on AdWords, even for small accounts. And now you can really use an automated bidding solution on AdWords that will only cost you, you know, four or $500. And on Amazon, the cost is even better. You know, you can get an automated bidding solution for something like 50 to $200, which is really great. So that is some of the differences between Amazon PPC and AdWords. Let me know if you have any questions. Be sure to follow us for all this news about Amazon PPC. Uh, this is Mike. Have a good one.